This is the image that we're going to create in Snapseed. How can we create an image that looks like we're actually using a mask? Snapseed doesn't have a mask, so we're going to go through that process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on tap anywhere. We're going to open up a photo and the photo that we're going to open is this one right here, the lock. You'll notice that there's a white background, a black keyhole and some gray around that. We need to actually recreate this, but do the opposite. So we go to tools, curves, and if you have points on there, just get rid of those points by dragging them off the screen. Grab the left point, drag it all the way to the top, grab the right point, drag it all the way to the bottom. So what was black is now white, what was white is now black, and what was gray is still gray. Let's now export that out. Now that that's exported out, go into your edit at the top, view edits, go back to the original, then click back to your main screen. Now we're gonna do the double exposure on this image. Click on tools, double exposure, the image icon, pick the right image, position it, click on the little book in the middle and click either lighten or add. I prefer lighten because I want to keep some of the gray in there. Click on the water drop symbol and you'll notice if we move it all the way over, we get the original image all the way to the right, we get the image we're bringing in. So we have to find that sweet spot in the middle, which is right there. Click the checkbox. Once you're at this stage, click on export, export the image. Now we're going to click open and we're going to open this image. We're going to fill the black by going tools, double exposure, clicking on the image icon, picking a texture, changing the blend mode. So it's either lighten or add on this one. I'm going to use add because in the keyhole, I want to see some of that texture there. Click on the checkbox. Now that we've got that, we're going to go tools, double exposure, bring in the image that we looked at, change the blend mode of this one so that it will sit in nicely. And there it is on subtract and there it is and click on the checkbox. Now from here, you can go through and do your normal, typical editing that you would like to do out of vignette, change the structure of that and any other editing that you'd like to do. So the trick here is that we use one image, invert it and use that twice to create this artificial effect that we're calling a mask. Enjoy, have fun.